welcome to the Coach Tyler Show. Golazo! 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 Hi there. Welcome back to another episode of the Coach Kyle Show. Um, Kyle McKinnon here. If you're now joining, please let me know that you can hear hear me well, and you can see me well, so there's no disturbance in what needs to be said in this show tonight. Remember this show. Um, if you if you're new. If you uh, are now joining, um, this show we talk all things soccer. Um, but before we go there, it will be crazy for me not to remind you that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Very important statement, uh, more so now than ever. Nevertheless, um, this, this show, we talk all things soccer, but uh, the most important thing here or the key objective here, see Sony is already in here. Good good to see you. Please share. Um, let the others know that um, we start on time. Punctuality is very important, uh, important to us in everything that we do. Like I was saying, the the more the most important or the more um, the key objective in this show is to is to inspire and impact the lives of our young people uh, to live out their purpose, and we'll we'll keep reminding you. So when we make these topics and when we talk about what we're talking about, is to empower our young people, is to encourage them. Uh, to fulfill the plan in which they were born uh, to fulfill. We're not here to um, knock on no one's thing. We're not here. Yeah, if you feel like that, you know, no one could control um, anyone's feeling. It's their choice of how they want to feel and how they want to um, react to certain things. We are here, though to make sure that we are inspiring and we're impacting the lives of our young people to live out their purpose. These are very uncertain times and um, a lot of distractions. Um, a lot of young people who don't, uh, are not sure of their identity, who they are. They're struggling with what is it they're supposed to be doing. So they're following, um, they're following trends, they're following the norm. Um, they're following common things when they are unique and they should be doing something that is unique uh, to inspire and to give light to others who who are coming behind them or give light to their to their peers so this is this is what we do um, and i promise at the end of this show uh, there'll be something that our young people can can use as a model to grow, um, as a model to keep um, challenging themselves and setting higher standards and, and setting um, big goals and going after them um, with bravery, uh, with, um, with dedication, with commitment, uh, with accountability. And all these, all these principles that, that are needed uh, for success. So tonight we want to we want to discuss. Uh, I taught it, um, but did they learn it? I taught it. Did they learn it? They learn it. So we'll we'll dive deep into it um, when we when we get back from this short interruption to bring our march. Um, to you, our viewers. We'll be right back.
Toyota McKinnon and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote McKinnon and Company. We care. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. This, this is the podcast that brings you all your football or all your soccer needs. It's a way you're listening from. Some call it football, so some call it soccer. Nevertheless, uh, we are here, so we call it soccer. Uh, I hope that you're making your way into the show. I hope uh, those that are here already that you will let us know that you're here. Um, please be ready to share. Hi, Marsha, good, good to know that you're here. Um, continue to share um, so that we know uh, that you are tuning in. We appreciate all uh, of our listeners. We appreciate um, the questions, the comments, um, even uh, the ones that can provoke uh, conversation and give a different perspective because uh, that's what growing is about. That's what learning is about. You know, so we appreciate everyone. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel, Kyrie McKinnon and Co. Um, and put on your notifications so you know when we're on and you can take part in our show. Uh, share your comments, ask your questions so that we could continue to help our young people to grow, to get better, to find their identity, um, to be stronger, um, uh, to become wiser, um, more so than more so, um, uh, more so now than ever. We need the ability to have good discernment. You never know. You never know who, um, who is around you, who's listening, who's doing whatever. Uh, so maybe that's the key thing that you want to spend your time asking God for the spirit of discernment so that you can know that you don't you don't get caught up in things and then you realize uh, who you have around you or who you've been spending your time with. Um, you come to regret it. Nevertheless, to talk about this very important topic, I taught it. Um, they learn it. It's the wingman, the great of all the med. <clears throat> What's up, brother? How are you doing? Good to good have evening. you on the show again. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm blessed. What is going on? What is what is what is new in the land of the living? Oh man, football, <laughs> football, football, football. That's all it is. Soccer, <laughs> soccer, soccer, soccer. You you will get into trouble calling the thing football. <laughs> People think that you're wearing pads and, and all them things. <laughs> so soccer, soccer, soccer. Uh, it's awesome that we have this platform that we that we can use it um, to empower people to bring truth, to bring truth, um, to to be bold and to be brave about the things that we see affecting um, young people um, in ways that you know most people can't imagine because uh, soccer from soccer for most people is just recreation yeah. and so we haven't really transformed from that mold of understanding it's a tool to life mm -hmm. uh, it, it, people are affected emotionally psychologically um, in 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 ways where they 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 go to debt uh, because of feeling unfulfilled in a sport that everybody um, takes uh, lightly. We're talking about they taught it, I taught it, they learn it, and I, and I think um, it's an important topic. 
And before we jump into it, though, I think it's a good time, uh, more than ever, to have a lot of old friends, to have a, to have a lot of senior citizens around here. You know, okay. find some find some old people, some really old people who probably got 70, 80 years under their belt. I uh, think because we lacking some wisdom, we lacking some direction. This generation is very poor in terms of truly understanding um, and, and having the ability to identify uh, what is real and what is not real. Sometimes you need a lot of old people to, to give you some wisdom, um, mm-hmm. to, to help you to understand things clearer, to help you to see people for who they really are and not what they do and what they say, um, so that you oftentimes don't find yourself reactive, uh, but, but being more proactive. Um, that's a danger that you know, oftentimes we face, we become reactive, and then when we react, we're 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 deemed this, we're deemed that, we're we're no good, we're not this, we're not that. But if if we were proactive, we might we might not have found ourselves in the situations that we oftentimes find ourselves. So it's important, it's important now more than ever to get yourself around some people who got some wisdom, and you know, and acts like I said before. Ask for some discernment because you know <laughs> you, you don't you, you really don't know who is who. You know, people ask us that question all the time. Like, how do you know what is true? You know, that's a tough question. Yeah. <laughs> how, yeah. how you do how do you know what is true? Um, how do you know it's not a lie? Um and we try our best, but you know, it's your discernment, it's 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 your heart, it's your ability. And when you're around people who got some wisdom, they 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 can easily um, add that value to your life, and and you you start understanding things uh, for what they really are, uh, and and you make better decisions. Nevertheless, we're talking about um, I taught it, they learn it. Um, you say John Wooden said a very important thing. He said, "You have not taught until they have learned." Um, it, it's a powerful statement. You have not taught until uh, they have learned. Unfortunately, um, me being in soccer a little while now and, and playing the game and now coaching the game, um, I don't see a lot of learning in soccer. That's my. That's just my honest uh, opinion and my perspective. I don't see uh, a lot of learning in soccer. I see talent. Um, I see... I see potential, but that's where it stops. There's nothing after uh, that. And it's, it's really difficult to understand, um, but we can safely, I don't know if you agree with it, but I safely believe, I safely think that it's the culture uh, that don't require no one to learn when it comes to the game of soccer. What are your, what are your thoughts there? Mm, okay, so why do you say why do you say is the, the the culture don't allow somebody somebody might disagree with you? They say the culture is what drives the learning, though. Yeah, I think my 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 thing there is I don't see learning, and the reason why I'm not seeing learning because the culture don't require it. The culture of soccer, the environment of soccer, and youth soccer and development soccer don't require learning. They they require uh, performances. They require okay. um, the team winning. So the culture, the culture that they have created, you know, culture is the worst behavior you're willing to accept. Culture is what you, the principles in which you want um, you want to be governed by. Okay. So you create this culture, and it's you know, culture is not something that is is it, is set. Culture is something that is fluid. You you every day. You you orient and reorient people and yourself to the culture in which you want to live in. So I don't. My opinion and, and, and my perspective is the culture of soccer don't require um, learning. It don't require it. Okay. They they talk about it, but the behavior and the and and the standards that are set, it, it don't it don't represent a learning. A learning environment. That's true. 
No, it makes sense. I, I okay. I, I, I would agree with you. I would agree with you in those parts because, like I said, just experience for myself, just raised up in the culture and raised up in the environment. It's true. I, I solely believe it is performance. It is, it is solely based on wins, even at a young age. If you can outperform or outwin, that's nobody's saying, hey, you need to do this better or why we're doing this and what's the purpose. It's just, hey, if you can score goals, if you can defend well, this, okay, put them on the best team. And that's all it requires. Yeah, the, 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 the other part about that too is learning is very expensive. You know, learning is expensive. For you to learn something, you have to give, you have to give time to it. Yeah. You have to give, uh, and and they could say fortunately or unfortunately, um, to learn something, to learn soccer here, it it takes time, and time is money. So, Perfect. like Perfect. we talked about a couple moons ago, where you know one of the things that will stop development is uh, the financial burden that comes with it. So mm-hmm. once again, the culture that that is formed. It's not for learning. Now, you think about um, a high-level teacher needs to produce a high level of competency. Like, you can't be a teacher unless you've proven, right, unless you've proven that you can, um, that you have the competency level to move students from where they are to where they need to be. Yeah. You need a high, you need a high level doctor to save life. You're not gonna put, uh, you're not gonna put uh, any in any doctor in a room where it's a life and death situation. You're looking for the best. You're looking for the people who have done it before, who have enough experience, who can step into that situation and know exactly what to do. Can go to every bit of what they need to do to make sure they save this life because they know. It's high level. You're not gonna put somebody who just who just became a doctor. No, of course. <laughs> you gotta have a, a high level, right? You yeah. know, you're gonna have a highly qualified lawyer if you're on death row <laughs> to get you off. You ain't, you ain't, you're not gonna look for a, a, a student that just came out of law school to try to, to stop you from going to, to a to death sentence. Yeah, no, you're gonna have a high Quali- a highly qualified lawyer uh, to, to try and save your life. Or they will have a highly qualified lawyer who will try and get you to that to that death sentence. Because <laughs> they know what because they know what they're up against. And they might feel on the other side that listen, I think you really need to go to that to that death sentence. So they're gonna have to highly they'll have a highly qualified person to do so. Um but I see when it relates to coaching and, and soccer, none of those things don't matter. Of course not. None of those things don't matter. Um, especially in these supposedly high-performance environment, you see, you go and you look at those websites and you see no qualifications when it relates to soccer. Now, what a bachelor's degree in mathematics have to do with you coaching soccer? Like... No, but you have to be a high, you have to be a highly competent teacher to teach. But you don't have to be nothing, you don't have to be nothing in soccer to coach. So what are you saying? What what are you saying about the game? So so if they pick you and I up and through and now and say, okay, y'all going to teach high school, just jump in there, y'all get a good personality. Just jump in. <laughs> Is sheer F's is sheer F's these kids coming back? Right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> is is sheer F's they, they be like so so F is the new A? <laughs> so F is the new A now. So it's it's so that's why I said the culture, and now what is happening? If you put a, a highly educated person who's unqualified to do the job of soccer. You put them in a high-performance environment. Now, the high-performance environment is where they're choosing the players from to stabilize the game in a, from a professional standpoint. What do you think, what do you think is happening? An unqualified person cannot really, they don't truly understand yeah. what really a quality player is. 
People don't, oh, they're good at recruiting. Yeah, what? Okay. Yeah. Where where is the same respect to the um as the other profession? Where is the same respect? So which add on to my argument that people don't um want to learn. And then on the other on the other hand of it is you know we believe that we're teaching while nobody's learning because the culture don't want learning that's why it's, that's why I started there because you can't teach something if somebody don't want to learn so we face with this um, we face with this dilemma where you know most coaches now I see they're falling into this trap uh, of believing that they're doing a fantastic job or they are so important to the process um, when it comes to the learning and when it comes to the development, they think that they are the most important person. And that's far from the fact. Now you see parents believing that organizations, um, that that they define uh, that development will happen and learning is taking place, which is far from the truth. What are your What are your thoughts uh, when it relates to that? That now we got coaches who think that, well, I am the person who will 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 determine, you know, what will happen to this player, and oh, I am the most important here. It's all about what I can do and what I know and and. And they empower themselves in in that manner. Um, then you got the culture of the parents understanding, like, okay, oh, this coach and and this organization and, and these things truly defined uh, development, and and they totally neglect what what learning is uh, because now they take the position of I know it. They might just know it, right? Yeah, the, the whole con, the whole idea of, uh, I taught it, they learn it. You guys will, you guys were listening to us. You you get a better understanding of what I'm saying just now. Uh, stick around a bit. Uh, share 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 this podcast with your friends, yeah, your peers. Um, and if you don't understand certain things, just just ask the question. But this very idea of coaches believing that they. Um, are, are the most important person when it comes to the development of, of the child uh, begs this very question. I taught it. But I, but, I, but I believe, but, again, I believe, Kyle, like mm -hmm. that, that is probably the, the education or that is the model of these, um, these, these clubs. I believe that they recruit, they recruit coaches. They don't, they don't, they're not worried about them. They're not worried about the players. He's got to recruit a certain coach who can draw, draw the, the, the players in. And I've seen on mm -hmm. social media, like I said, social media is a big, it's a big platform when you literally hear what coaches say about, oh, we've, I, I put it, I did this or, oh, we're doing this. So I know our play, our team is going to do this. It's, it's literally focused on the coach is li that's, that's literally what it is. So parents believe Okay, I guess they're winning. They're doing. They're, they're winning a lot. So I guess maybe that's that's what learning looks like because the team is winning, and this coach mm -hmm. seems like he has a lot of followers, and people are following him. So I need to go there. Yeah, um, the blind leading the blind. You're actually saying <laughs> yeah. so because uh, <laughs> and and it it it's it's all and a lot of coaches know and they understand mm -hmm. and the culture they're in. Um, it's a very, what's the word I'm looking for? Gullible um, environment within soccer where mm -hmm. anything that sounds good and anything that you can articulate well, That's especially right. if you, especially if you get a certain accent, um, they think you know. They think you 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 have it because mm -hmm. you could say it. Um, saying it, I taught it, and they learn it. Uh, it's two different things. Um, and, it's, and, it's, and if you put your focus on the coach, you neglect uh, the learning process. And we talked about that the other day when 
um, in our little space. Uh, development is true. When you talk about development through learning, you're talking about an, an alliance um, between the player and the process. Mm -hmm. uh, the coach is a facilitator. That's it. So it's aligning the process with the player. And the process, the process, the process, the player, the player, go, the process goes to the player and the player goes back to the process. And the coach is there facilitating this whole thing and, and constantly creating these situations for them to discover what is it they need to do. So when you start making the coaches and the organization the focus, you take away the priority, you take away the priority, which is learning, away from the situation. Thus, you see no development. So people are talking their way. <laughs> People are talking their way through, and because people are so gullible, they, they they don't they don't and they don't have enough knowledge to understand. They feel because they're hearing something that is articulated well, it means that learning will take place. It's not it's it's not about the coaches, but the coaches understand. It's the culture make it about them. This is why players follow coaches. And you said something. They are they will recruit coaches because the the players will follow the coaches, and the coach will get the director's job, not because he's educating no one. No. He has a director's job because of, of his recruiting power, of walking out a program with all the kids. Mm -hmm. So now you're being paid as an ex executive. <laughs> Not because you're competent in what you're doing in terms of a director of coaching. You're there to educate coaches. You're there to make sure that they're following the curriculum and they understand uh, the task in which to follow the curriculum and methods that can be used um, to help uh, empower the, the players and empower themselves as coaches. How you're a director of coaching and you never see the coaches you, you 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 never see the coaches. Yeah, at all. You, you never run a session. One time I, I saw they had a director of coaching, but he's the only coach. What? <laughs> so who are you directing? <laughs> what? <laughs> so <laughs> so what is what is happening within the culture is that words and 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 and. Uh, Articu articulating yourself and, and being a communicative expert, if there's a word like that, communicative expert, uh, you have those people now and everybody believe learning will happen just because you and I know. You and I know don't mean nothing. And I think, um, I think most coaches feel like they're affecting changes. Um, in athletes because uh, they have the knowledge, you know. Uh, they can burst your ears with information and, and tell you a man of things and you should do this and you should do that. Um, make the best practices, have the best drills, all the cones line up very organized and it look awesome and the fields are nice. And we believe that learning automatically start happening. So far from the truth. Um, even more annoying is when um, you hear them saying all of these right things. You hear you you they 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 bursting it out and they they well dressed and you know they got the whole coach look. Uh, but the, the athletes' behavior is totally opposite. <laughs> the athlete is so the athletes' behavior is so far from what they're talking about, mm -hmm. right? Because just go look at the games. You know, I had to learn that early that, you know, having, you could have all the information, but when you, when the information come out of you, it comes out, uh, it comes from you. It's very smooth and it's very clear to you. But somebody who's listening on the other side, it's scrambled. Because they're still trying to, to 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 organize what is what, where should go, what should go where, and when I should do this. They they're still trying to figure out all of these things. Who am I connecting this thing to? 
Who am I connecting this thing with? When should I do it? Where should I do it? Why am I doing it? What will be the outcome of this thing? All of these things they're trying to to formulate, and when you give them a million things, and it sounds so it sounds so brilliant, people think like, "Yeah, he knows." So learning will happen. No, nothing is happening because you try to catch five rabbits, you're not gonna catch none. You know, so we have this we have this culture here where because I have knowledge and because I could spew out all of these uh, these principles and I sung you know, very I could articulate myself well. I believe uh, that learning is happening. Well, have you ex have you seen that where you know you hear a lot of fancy things and seeing all the writings play through the line and blah, 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 and all them things and it sounds good on video on Instagram but you look at the player's behavior is it a representation of what you're hearing no of, of, of course not like I said we we've 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 traveled we we watch a lot of games um social like I said social media is big we have a, a number of followers but like I said that it's it sounds great it sounds great until we go watch like I said, we go watch and we'd be like pretty much commentating throughout the whole. First of all, it's pretty much commentating, like you said, throughout the whole game. There's no there's no decision making from no player. You literally kids are waiting to hear what the coach is saying for them to to, to, to do what they're supposed to do on the field. That's one. And then second, when he says one thing, you totally hear or he says something at halftime. And then we look at each other. We're like, OK, let's see if it happens. Second half comes. You don't see none of that. We were like, they, they don't understand. They're not getting what they are saying. They definitely don't understand what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, because you, they sometimes, sometimes you they go to the game, but they didn't practice that way. No, perfectly said. Or perfect, perfect, they perfect. go, they go to the game, and they haven't, they didn't had enough days, enough hours. So now, the coach can see things, and or the person on the side of the field can see things on the field. And they want to make the changes, and they sound so good, mm -hmm. but they, the the players have not learned it. They have not done it enough times, so now they want you to do it. And then they, they say all the halftime, and the, and as soon as the game start, they say something totally different from what they said in the halftime speech, mm -hmm. because now they see something, and now they're dealing with the thing that they're seeing rather than the thing they should be looking for based on what they would have done during the week to enhance the learning ability of the players. You know, one thing about learning, you don't have to be instructed all the time. Mm. When you learn, you don't need you don't need people to constantly commentate and tell you what to do. You're being told what to do because you have not, um, time have not been given mm. for you to become an independent thinker. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So what you see a lot is coaches who try to protect themselves and to put themselves, um, I heard Doug Lamar said about this, this psychological um, this psychological safety net that they put themselves in by making sure everybody know I taught it. Okay. So you hear yes. comments like, Come on, Joan. You, we, we only did that yesterday. What is wrong with you? Mm. It's letting everybody know that I taught it. You should know. So now you should know. <laughs> yeah, you should know this. So now you want the parents and you want everybody to know that. That's not my fault. That's your child. <laughs> mm. I told them it. I showed them it. Now, in some cases, obviously... <laughs> Kids just don't focus and they 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 misrepresenting something. <laughs> but a lot of times in this culture, because enough time have not been given to the learning process and to the development process, a lot of coach protect themselves by letting everybody know that I have taught that your daughter just or your son just ain't got no sense. That's, yeah. They they right. can't do what they they they, they can't do what they're asked to do and telling somebody something it don't necessarily mean that they're learning 
Absolutely right. You go just just listen. <laughs> just take a look every Sunday and see how many times the coach yell uh, to the players. That's not what we talk about. <laughs> Get wide. We talk about that yesterday, but they're training on quarter of a field. Mm. So why are you gonna get why? <laughs> how you gonna get why? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying he will they will shout that because again, how do they keep their jobs? Mm. They have to win, right? They have to win first and foremost, and they have to be likable by the parents. So that's like they they have to neglect what learning really means by protecting themselves yelling and talking about what they've what they told the kids yesterday that is a protective mechanism for them to keep their jobs okay. or to keep or, or to continue to coach the team that they have because now they they have two teams and now they're down to one one is tough <laughs> You must have about two or three teams to survive. So you see, you see that a lot, and because they are winning games, um, don't matter the competition, don't matter the level, they're winning games. The culture recognize that as learning. Of course, the coach say it, they learn it. They learn it, yeah. which is far. Which is far from the truth. Well, well, we got any questions there? We got any comments? Please let us know. Please let us know that you are here. Please share your comments. What are your thoughts um, with this? Have you experienced this? Is this something that you're seeing? Um, is this something that you're seeing in your program and don't know how to deal with it? I just want to let you know that your child is not learning nothing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> God, you crazy, <laughs> yo. You know, I is I'm I'm. It's, a, it's the reality. You know, it's the truth. It's the reality. You know, they haven't come to the grips yet that not because I'm saying something, it means um, that um, the athletes are learning. Not because okay. I know it, not because I I have the knowledge, not because I'm competent in this in this aspect of the game. It means that the person I'm, I'm that is listening to me, like I said, I I learned that um, from a, a top instructor, you know, a person who's an educator, a person who's smart, um, Paul Shaw. You know, I learned that like you could have all this knowledge. It's not that's not the most important thing. Is what you do with that to in, to increase and advance the learning ability of the person who actually playing on Sunday. You don't play. <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> you don't play. So you could sound all competent, and you could sound like you know a lot of stuff, but how? How you bring that to light to the point where the, the responsibility is on the player to recognize the process and, and align themselves with it to improve their learning, the game will continue to suffer. And we will have this, this culture that we have uh, that is so gullible. Yeah. Question. Question from Mikey. How, so how do we know if they are learning? Well, we'll we'll get to that. Stay with us, Mikey. We'll we'll get to that. We'll we'll, we'll show you um, that process and, and how you can know. Um, we don't we want we don't want to jump ahead. We don't want to jump ahead of ourselves. But I like that question. And we definitely would address it just after this break um, to bring our learning corner. <clears throat> So what we're seeing in, in modern day football is the 11 and the 7 comes inside to make the back four compact, which allow 
the three and the two to utilize space on your side, allowing the 10 and the eight uh, to, to get up the field and add more numbers into the attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Teams are defending with three. Um, teams are defending with four based on where the ball is. But I want to look at a specific thing here. When the ball starts in the middle, the four becomes a two and the three slides in. And they switch the ball and they play the ball to the three and the two becomes an extra midfielder. Okay? So it becomes now a box in the middle. Remember you have three in the middle. They now have four in the middle. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. Kayo Day here alongside me, the great Awal Ahmed. We're talking about um, they taught it, you learn it. Or, yeah, the coaches think I taught it, hmm. I taught it, they learn it. It's so confusing. But nevertheless, I think you get the gist of the story already. Um, based, on, based on the question, I, I'll, I'll jump into it a bit. Um, a wall and you can share your your take um, you know what a student or what an athlete knows or a player knows dictates uh, their learning ability it first starts with knowledge so if your 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 child have if your child have not been in the position and and that comes from um, uh, 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 Harry Fletcher what he said that and and I think it, it makes sense you have to know that will dictate how you learn. So if I don't have no knowledge um, of what I'm doing, then I don't know what to look for. And if I don't know what to look for, then my actions and my behaviors will be a representation of what, I, what I'm looking for. See, I, the, what to look at is the knowledge. I have knowledge. I, in soccer, there's principles. It's principles in every function of the game. So if I understand those principles, then it gives me an idea of what to look for, perception. Because I'm because I'm able, uh, because I'm able now to know what to look for, my behavior will tell me that I'm I'm learning what to do and what not to do based on the situation that is before me or is in front of me. So we can't talk about learning until we on the, until we have knowledge. And knowledge for us um, here, from our perspective, starts with information. Now that information, uh, there must be repetition behind that information where you're able now to internalize what you're hearing. And we talk about what learning is, what you tune out and what you tune in. So if P, if the uh, the heart of the author always follows his message, if a coach is only doing something to protect himself, because the, what the culture require, then he's not totally focusing on the athletes. Because if he focus on the athletes, it means that time must be given to development, and parents want to win. So now the message becomes um, misconstrued because, on one hand. The child must develop knowledge to enhance learning. That is taken away because performance is the priority. Of course. So now it's a tough, it's it's a tough thing to figure out what is really going on. Because the person who is responsible for aligning your child to the process has totally removed themselves from facilitator's mood to now taking the place of the process. So now it's coach and player when it's supposed to be player and process. So like the process on the site facilitated, that's what actually going on. Or what? So it's, that's the, that's the big issue there, sir. It first, your child must have knowledge. If you, if I ask your child, what's the first principle in defending and they don't know, they have no knowledge. So how, how can you measure 
uh, their learning ability. They have no knowledge. So um, what you know will dictate, you know, what you can learn. So like I said, sorry, but 90% of these kids, I go to a lot of games, they're not learning nothing. They just they just they just playing and having fun. Um that's so true. Yeah. No, because there's somebody somebody asked somebody asked the same question. How how can you say um nobody's learning while everybody's doing the same thing? And that's why I just laughed because that's that, that's what you just said. 90% of y'all are doing the same thing and you're not learning. But everybody's saying the same thing. But how do you measure to, mm -hmm. to that point of how could I say no one's learning to that very point? Because everybody's saying the same thing. How do you measure that they are learning? Now, if I if I was to ask the very person, if I was to ask your athlete, what is the first principle in attacking? What, what does a game model mean? What is the... Okay, okay. What position you play? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. What is called cam? I'm a cam. Right? I can Okay. Well, tell me, tell, tell me, what is the description of that position? What is the profile of that position? Your child have, your child don't even know. So how are you saying that they're learning? What is the basis of that? What is the basis of your argument that the child is learning? No, you basing it on the result of the oh, team. See. Yes, I was just about to say, God, they win here, so they're going to say they learn it. And if they're losing, they're not learning. Yeah. So when the kids are losing, oh, they ain't learning nothing. I don't see nothing. They're losing every game. Mm -hmm. When in actuality, those kids might actually be learning. <laughs> they might be the ones learning. How crazy it is. And now when you're winning every game, oh, they're such a good team. They're so good. They are learning a lot from the coach. He's so awesome. How do you know? How do you know? You have to have knowledge. If you have, if the kid don't have no knowledge, then there's nothing happening there. Sorry, but it's just an empty vessel kicking a ball out there. It is what that's what happened. You have to take that. You have to take that. They don't know what they they don't know. They don't have no knowledge of the game. So what? How are they making? What are they doing on the field to make you think they're learning? What? What is happening on the field? Or what? Talent. It's talent. Kyle. They got talent. Most of the kids got talent, so they believe that's that's what learning is. They can dribble. They can dribble well. They can shoot. They they get pass. That's that's what they're basing it on. Kyle. No, when, the problem is, like I said, when the culture. When everybody's doing the same thing, yeah. it, you can't really, you can't really hold it up to nothing until you hold it up to kids who are at a higher level. Mm -hmm. So if you got twenty teams doing the same thing, and well, somebody got to win, somebody have to lose. Yeah. Now that could be the that could be what they defining who's learning, who is not. That's true. Because. Everybody's doing the same thing, but if I'm a bit faster than you, like, like, tell me, right? You you go to certain games and you already know you're gonna lose. How, yeah. How do you know that? Because you look at your kids. You look at, <laughs> you look at your kids and you look at the other two kids. You're like, we already lost. Let's yeah. get some pride. Let's let's get some pride out of this game because we already know that forward up front, she or he is too big. They will run away. And then if they get a free kick around the the, the circle, oh, and you already know field, he's taking everything. <laughs> and this kid could kick the ball hard. You have to hope that they, they, wherever they kick it, went how they go, because it will score if it go on target. Yeah. And then I just went to give the other week, the other day. This is a youth nine game, right? And there's a corner, <laughs> but the. <laughs> And I'm watching this thing, right? Uh, it's a youth nine game. It's girls. But there's this little girl. She could kick the ball really hard. So there's a corner. And the opposition team, I see cover press already holding their head like, oh, my God, they're about to score. <laughs> what? <laughs> I what?
What about now? Yeah, perfect. Okay, Good. so Good. yeah, you know, these things are always trying. Sorry for that interruption. I don't know what happened, but that was the situation. I went. I, I was. I was laughing. I'm saying like, "Whoa, this is this is what we this is what we talk about." Um, <clears throat> players know their their learning is neglected. You know, the players know the athletes know. Uh, they are neglected when it comes to learning. There's there's no learning taking place because learning needs, uh, it first you need hours behind the knowledge mm -hmm. to develop the knowledge. Um, and the, it's not given that those hours are not given because obviously like everything else, when you want to be great and when you want to be competent, it, it becomes expensive. Yeah. And not every parent have the ability to invest in that process. You understand? So I could see why they will find a, a, a loophole <laughs> yeah. to say that this is the best way. We could just be honest and be like, listen, I understand that this process is going to take a lot of time and it needs, it needs resources. But they're quick to tell you, oh, it don't need all of that. Yeah, yeah. That is that is where really, it it becomes a problem because now you saying you saying that because it protects what you want to protect, not because it's the truth. So we know that you have to put in a certain amount of hours, you have to put in a certain amount of time, because we know that you have no knowledge of the game. Ninety percent of the kids I've come across, they have no knowledge of the game. So what learning are you talking about? There's no learning. All these coaches are doing is just yelling and spewing out things because they're not, they will not be given the time to True. actually develop the kid's ability to become an independent thinker, mm -hmm. which is actual, which is actually saying mm -hmm. that they're learning. Mm -hmm. Because they can execute and they can implement the principles without instructions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they can do it consistent. So there's no learning taking place. I'll say it a thousand times. Come up with something to prove to me that your child learning, Sako. <laughs> I, I want to. I want to hear it. I'm, I'm challenging anyone. No, come it's a challenge. Come, come to me with something that proves uh, that your child is learning, Sako. We'll see. <laughs> What what are your thoughts? No, I'm I'm like I said, I'm I'm definitely I'm definitely putting that out there on since for the next couple of weeks, exactly what you just said. You you said it right. There's no child every time you go to games, like I said, people are commentating. There's, you know these kids ain't, ain't making decisions on their own. They're not, because clearly you see that the coach is saying everything on the sideline and they're waiting for the coach to say what they need to say to, to implement it on the field. They have to. They have to. If they don't, if the coach sit down and don't say nothing, parents would be like, oh, he's not into the game, you know, he just said there and he just like he's not he's not doing nothing for the kids. And I know the kids yelling and he's, oh he's yelling too much. He's just yelling, yelling, yelling. <laughs> so it's like like I said, the culture, the, there's no oh, what there's no learning. Um it's just noise. Kick the ball. Somebody shoot the ball over the goal. Good shot. How is that a good shot? Don't you need to be shooting between the frame? What about, that's a good learning moment. Maybe, hey, Johnny, keep your head down. Look at the ball. Yeah. That's a good moment to, 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 to reinforce maybe what you've done in practice. Mm -hmm. Hey, good try. The last time we checked, the ball need to be in between the frame. <laughs> the ball can't be kicking over the bar and you're saying good try. Oh, look at that boot up the road. Hey, kick it up the road. Oh, that's a good kick. Oh, she's so awesome. Oh, she can kick the ball hard. Since when that since when that is that is soccer kicking the ball hard? It's culture, man. You're right. You're not lying about this culture, man. You said there's learning. 
listen, learning produce independent thinkers, which you see the creativity um, and it, it produces excitement. When, when, you are, when you are an independent thinker, because you've, you, have, uh, you have gone past, I taught it, you learn it, principles or concept, you become an independent thinker. It creates, it, it have this creativity and creativity always produce excitement. Uh, but without that, you see a lot of dysfunction. Uh, and this is the environment we're in. But, you know, we'll share some things that, do you have anything there? Yeah, no, I was going to, I was going to actually, do you okay. think these, you talk about, you talk about the culture, right? Do you think, again, these things are based on what the American society of education, like we talk about education is big here. How, because I looked up a couple of things, how the education system and the ideology of the American system of education, how it moved from, from let's say 1934 to where we are now. It moved. The side that you're talking about right now, the creativity side, that was big in 1957. 1957, 1958, the American education system, they said that this is what they try to provide for kids the development for each learner to live in a morally creative and productive society. That was something big they wanted to, in the society of America, this is what they wanted to push. It went from now, which we're talking about what they want to push now, mm -hmm. in terms of just producing people in terms of knowledge to, to go straight into the workforce. Whatever it is, so it's pretty much like, okay, this is what we say, just do it so you can get a job or something like that. I think that was very, that's something that was, that intrigued me a bit in terms of how they move from that creativity and development side to let's just get your education, just do what you got to do. Well, if you if 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 you want to stop learning, just just oppress people. You know, learning is about free will. Mm -hmm. To learn, you have to choose. You have to be brave because you have to make a change. Uh, you could change and don't learn, or you can't grow. But for you to grow, you have to change. That's free will. That's what learning can do. It creates this free will where you have the power to choose. When you want to oppress a people, then you take away the choice from them. Mm -hmm. So if I create, if I take away creativity and I take away the ability to somebody for somebody to truly maximize uh, their ability, then I put them in a position where I only prepare you for what I want you to do, not what you can do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't think soccer got nothing to do with school. Um, it has absolutely nothing to do with school. Um, school is about I give you it, you remember it, you go do it. Um, soccer is about uh, perception. Um, it's about perception. It's about uh, making sure that you understand principles uh, that will create this discovery uh, true behaviors that are consistent. And now you have this autonomy with you when you're on the field because you've seen the situation time and time again. You've encoded. Now your brain is responding to what it sees. When you take a professional pianist and uh, a person that plays the keyboard or play the piano and they have enough experience, they 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 they're bitten. It's like they're so calm and they're so quiet in how they play because they know their first action where the second action will be. And then it is with this continuous flow that they're able to play beautiful music. Now, in soccer, it's just like that. Perception leads you from your first action to your second and third and fourth action. And it's this flow that the brains on that the brain understands. When you when you make a mistake. It is like it intercept what the brain is trying to do, and now the brain have to restart. This is why you see game go through a game will a game will shift from momentum to momentum because every now and then the flow is interrupted by a bad decision or by a mistake or the ball went out. It stopped, and the brain have to restart another sequence. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a it's this this it's not school. It's not school. You, you, you cannot use your conscious brain to make decisions on a field. In a classroom, you can. 
you got 10 minutes to figure out something. You get less than uh, six tenths of a second to make first, second, and third actions on a field. So what learning is happening for you to do that? When a child play one play and stand up and watch the ball, then he could say, hey, you have to run. <laughs> They don't know what to do after the first action because the brain have nothing there. Yeah. So we have a lot of disabled kids on the field when it relates to soccer. Because soccer needs perception. You need to encode more actions that when the brain, when, when the brain recognizes it on the field, it can respond. Sure. So you're not learning if somebody constantly telling you stuff. If somebody have to continuously instruct you, and like I said, the coaches believe that they're developing the kids or they believe they have to do that because that is what is expected mm -hmm. to produce results because people only be believe that results are the basis of learning. Learning. Sure. Now, if you play really good and you lose, what does that say? <laughs> now, if you play really, really bad and you win the game in the eight to ninth minute because the ball rolled through the, the keeper leg by a mistake, what does that mean? So, so how is how is result the basis of learning? Or we might people might go far and say about success, but I talking about learning. So when we come back from this for small interruption with, you know, um, to acknowledge Pro Insulation who have uh, truly supported us in this in this movement, um, we'll talk about some things that can really encourage um, learning rather than you just teaching it. We'll be right back. Now is the time to keep your family warm with quality insulation for your home from Pro Insulation Company. At Pro Insulation, we solve all your residential and commercial insulation needs. Attics, crawl spaces, walls and ceilings, new and existing homes, and we offer traditional insulation and spray foam. Call Pro Insulation Company today for your free in-home estimate for all your insulation needs. Leave it to the pros and call Pro Insulation Company in Plainfield today. Welcome back to the Coach Kyle Show. Coyote here, alongside me, the great Wall of Med. Um, I hope you're not now joining us because we're about to, 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 to wrap up the show. Um, I taught it, they learn it. Uh, we're talking about that and how um, that very statement in itself prove or it's totally misunderstood in so many, in so many corners of learning when it relates to soccer. Um, and, and I think pro insulation should trademark the last part, boy. Leave it to the pros. Uh, that's, of course. They, 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 yeah, that's they, a powerful they, statement. Leave it to, <laughs> to the pros. It's such a, it's such a big thing. Um, but before we jump into some things that we firmly believe that uh, eradicate, I taught it, they learn it. Um, misconception um, is there any other questions there um, hopefully we're, we're looking forward to a lot more comments on this particular topic because yeah. everybody believed that the child is it's going learning. to start them everybody <laughs> believed that the child is so good and um, or talking about psychological oh psychological safety and psychological is good for the social development all Every time you hear people talk about them things, it's all about them. It's 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 it has nothing to do with the child, but sometimes the child embrace uh, they embrace those things because that in itself give them some psychological safety. But then they ask the question of of they talk about development and how you can help me to be a better player. And then they have to hear the hard truth, and then one thing about hard truth. You are always the problem because hard truth it, it it sets boundaries and it sets standards and people don't like standards and boundaries. They think they should get what they want uh, because they believe that. 
Yeah. Then they have to hear the harsh truth, then you know, you are wrong and everybody's right. Learning, learning is a process, but that process is not a time that most parents are willing to take because it's not emphasized as something that they should take. So I believe in terms, that? yeah, I believe in terms like like the process takes time, but that's not a time that most people are not willing to take. No, 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 well, that is understood. Like yeah. I've I've never made the argument that you know it's a long process and it's expensive. Yeah. What I'm saying is don't say it's wrong when you're told that's what it takes. Okay. Say that you don't believe or you don't want to invest in that. Be honest with your kid. Don't try to don't try to assassinate people's um, belief and their character and they and they understand of the game because you don't want you don't want to look like the bad parent who don't want to support your child. <laughs> so even the parents looking for psychological safety by blaming an external force for because they don't want to do it. That is where the problem comes. Because if you just say, listen, I don't think I want to invest in that. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't understand it. That is your prerogative. But when you start saying it don't make sense and, oh, you don't have to do all of that, then then you go into the part, you go into a debate. You want to play chess. So you make your first move. No, I got three, four different moves. Because I know the game. I know the game of chess. Do you understand? And you're gonna if you don't know the game of chess and you go play an expert, this the first move you make, you already lose the game. <laughs> you already lose. So that is the issue of all. Okay. The process is long, it's hard, it's difficult, but stop talking about development and stop talking about your child learning and they there's some top program. What top program and what are they learning? What are they learning? Coach still telling a 16-year-old how to position your body to look forward. That's the type. This is a whole practice award is given to positioning your body to look forward. A whole five minutes of practice is spent on what the speed of a pass means. You 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 ask a child. You know, how do you attack? Oh, you create space. All right. What is the definition of space? What space look like to you? What is the behavior that you're talking about? Uh, what What do you mean? Here, here goes, here goes the practice. Here goes the behavior right. that they're learning at home. Yeah, I was about to say the price coming oh, in. What do you mean? Well, it's just space. They They won't say. You know what? I don't know. You know. I don't know. Coach. I don't know. I want to understand. Yeah. The other part is when you start questioning athletes about what is it they're doing and why they're doing it. Oh my yeah. my! That's another. Yeah, the that's most a... uncomfortable. The most uncomfortable you will see an athlete. They don't even want to come around no more. Yeah, we know athletes who not coming around because they don't want to answer questions. Like that's the crazy. game don't ask questions. Exactly. You don't want to answer the question because, because you you don't your pride is hurt when you have to say, Well, I don't know. How are you a soccer player and saying you don't know? Yeah, you don't know, but they're not comfortable at all saying they don't. don't know because it takes away the ego they've been hiding behind, thinking they know because they scored seven goals in high school. Like, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I think we believe and we honestly believe that learning happens and not because somebody could uh, spew out information and, and and can articulate themselves and, and 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 can break the game down. We believe learning starts with you know the player's ability to reflect. You know, we know we talk about knowledge already, but a little bit deeper. You let's say you have the knowledge, and and you get in the knowledge, you get in the information, and the the information is 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 now turning itself into knowledge because you can internalize certain things, 
and you're not quite there yet, one of the things that will help you to learn and to grow is through reflection. You have to reflect. You ask the child, you know, they don't even have, how, how are you reflecting when you can't see nothing? Yeah, I say, when are they going to look at, what practice they going to look at, guy? When are you going to look at to reflect? Yeah. The moment you jump in the car, why the coach have to keep you so long? Ah, we got to go. We got to get a thing. I got to sleep. And so it takes you like an hour for you to, uh, 30 minutes to an hour for you to start forgetting everything you just did, right? But parents just help you to forget quicker. Quicker, of course. Yeah, they help you forget quicker. Because as soon as you come in, as soon as you leave the field, your focus is not on what you, on nothing soccer anymore. You understand? So they help the process by not advancing learning. That's crazy. Well, that's yeah, true. that's what you do. So true. Man. Good job. So there's no reflection. Because there's nothing to look at. There's nothing to look at. You 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 can't look you can't look at your practice yesterday. So what are you reflecting on? You don't have the enough memory to 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 be able to to have your, your brain don't have the capacity to remember all the things you just did in a on a soccer field. You will forget. All of us forget. Some coaches don't think they could forget, but listen to their comments. They just tell the child, pass the ball. You're going to be focusing on passing the ball. Why are you running like that? The first comment. Wait, why are you running like that? They already forgot what they just asked the child to do. So everybody forgets. So you have to reflect. The other thing, you have to desire feedback. <laughs> you have to desire feedback. You can't tell the child the truth anymore. You have to feed into the, the emotional, um, uh, whatever they want to call it. Yeah, somebody's gonna say, somebody's gonna say, uh, it's it's how you say it, though, guy. People want feedback. Somebody's a parent would say, but guy, maybe it's how you say it, maybe that would generate the right. okay. The, I like the, the music, right? Yeah, well, if you don't want to listen to the message and you want to listen to the song, if I say, if I was scared of snake and I said, oh, well, there's a snake right behind you. I, I want to say it just like that. <laughs> oh, no, I, you said it's the song. I'm saying, yeah, oh, yeah, it's the song. Yeah. I said, oh, there's a snake right behind you. you be like, you playing. Yeah, because you're not. If I go, I like a mad man. Say, hey, boy, there's a snake right you. <laughs> you would start, you, you would just break out with speed. <laughs> so I don't believe in that stupidness, but how you say it and all kind of thing. It's the message. I don't believe in that. I believe in the message. And and what what are you talking about? We're in a soccer game. We're in a high intense environment. Right? Mm -hmm. You have to hear the message. Now, if I'm talking about soccer, that is. Yeah. If I'm telling you to go pressure the ball, you want me to say, um, well, could you go pressure the ball, please? <laughs> yeah, could you just pressure it? I would love if you can just pressure the ball, sir. You know, could you please pressure the ball? <laughs> Whatever. Stupidness. Sure. I mean, if you're talking, you, if you're going, if you're talking about something outside of soccer and you're being personal, then that might need a meeting and a discussion. But but when it relates to soccer, and 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 sometimes I don't say all the time, but you have to know your players and you have to know your environment and what moved them, what helped them to move. And it's it's case by case. That can't be a general thing you need to say to certain with a certain tone. And that is a case by case. Some kids need that. They're ready. They want it. The, the, that fire them up. That's case by case. It's not a general thing. So I don't I don't believe that. I don't subscribe to that either. It's it it's based on your relationship with that athlete, with that player, and how you come how you get them to get to their best self. And that's case by case. That's fair. Um, the other thing is be an everyday person. That means if you want to learn, you have to be in the game. Do your hardest work every day. And be, uh, I say, 
Um, do the hardest things every day. Do the best things every day. The coach could give you a day off, but you shouldn't take a day off. <laughs> you should be doing something, watching a game. You should be doing push-ups. You should be doing sit-ups. You should go take a run. You should be in the gym. You have to spend more time. That have nothing to do with the coach. You have to align yourself with the process. That helps you, that helps the coach to facilitate better what you need to do. Oh, the coach gave me a day off, so I'm just going to go chill and play video games. Oh, tomorrow we get practice again? All right, we'll go practice. That's a, that's you exactly. make the coach the most important thing, and he is not, or she is not. The process, if the coach is doing a good job, he will align you with the process. You have to embrace that process. And more kids don't want to embrace that process because change forced you into being vulnerable. That's a fact. It, has, it must expose your deficiencies. And you have to be brave enough to make the choice. They don't want to make the choice because... <laughs> They don't believe they have the power to do it right. So okay. what they stay away from is wanting to make that choice. So they put it on somebody else. Your learning is about the process and you. The coach must facilitate that. That's why I know learning not taking place. Because it's not part of your culture. You want people to tell you what to do. And if, when they tell you what to do, yeah, they don't fit what you want to do, Dude, then you say you do don't need to do it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not going to do it. So what's the, what's the yeah. point? <laughs> well, yeah. Come on, guys. There's only a blind man I can't see. Repetition. Repetition. Repetition is dangerous. You know, five years you've been doing the same thing and you're at the same place. But next year, oh, this coach is better, but you want to do the same thing you were doing five years ago. I expect you will get better. Once again, you put the responsibility on the coach. Yeah, the coach has a responsibility to provide a process. Now, the problem is some people don't want the process because they don't they don't know the process and they don't think they should be invested in that process. And that is fine. But you still can't put it on the coach or the organization. No. Mm -hmm. You could put it on them when you have enough knowledge to know that they're not aligning your child or your athlete with a process that will help with their learning. That's the only time. But the first thing we'll say, oh, this coach don't know nothing. <laughs> no. The process, I want you to say, I want you to say to your child, listen, listen and, and repeat after me. The process don't make no sense. That's what I want you to tell your child. The moment you say the coach don't make no sense, you never made your child accountable to the process. The process. So the only thing you can do is talk about the person. You can't talk about the process because you don't know. So if you don't know the process, how can you say the coach don't know nothing? You see? That's why I all coach smarting y'all up, and it's good. <laughs> good, good. I'm happy. Coaches continue to smart them. Continue to tell them oh, that you're an elite athlete. And all. Oh God! Continue to smart them. Smile with them. Be very charismatic. Shake their hands. Uh, y'all drink coffee together on the side. Y'all do all of that. Coaches, go right ahead. They like it. Don't stop. Don't stop. Boy, the pain the million. That pain the bills. Do it. Do it. They like it. Give them what they want. Smart them up. Smart them up all the time. Okay. And then when you finish smarting them up, I want to see them. I want to ask them what what is your what your position requires you to do. That mm -hmm. I just want to ask them that. That's all I want to do. They want to talk about the coach. When you talk in about anything negative, make sure you are able to articulate that the process 
is not conducive for your child's development. The coach is just a facilitator. You have to deal with the process first. And if he's not doing, if he's not putting the child in the process, then, then you could talk about, hey, we need somebody who will bring the process. No, we need a nicer coach. We need a coach who's talk to us. We need a we need a coach who smile with us. We, we need we need okay, oh, we need all of that. Yes, give it to them. Please give it to them. Please continue to give it to them. I like it. That's what they like. Oh Ask God. questions. Ask questions. You want to learn? Ask questions. Kids don't even know how to ask a question. They, they said, ask. Oh, I don't know what to ask. Yeah, that's just, that's nothing. the first thing they say. I don't know what to ask. Because they don't know nothing. <laughs> they have no knowledge of the game, so they can't ask you nothing. When you want to learn, you have to be able to ask questions. And the type of questions you ask will enhance your ability to learn. <laughs> No, you're doing none of those things. Let coach tell me what to do. He's a good coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give it to them, coach. Coaches, give it to them. Yeah. They are brilliant. Okay. Smart. Discovery, finally. Discovery. And you're able to discover when your behavior is a representation of your of you taking initi initiative to understand, then learning begins. Because you just encode something that somebody didn't have to actually tell you or demonstrate. But you actually discover it. Learning happens. So your three days a week session? Your three days a week session? <laughs> and when the season starts, it's actually two days because you can't really do nothing? Yeah. It's Sunday and practice is Monday? Yeah, you're not learning nothing. Stop. Listen to me. You're you're not learning. Yeah. You are not learning. So true. Sorry to say, I know you're gonna be mad. You probably turned off the internet already. You already don't switch us off, but you still ain't learning. So it don't matter. Sorry, it don't I'm... matter. Sorry, you are not learning. That goes for all of us. If we do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Then we still lie to people, kids telling them about their learning. They're not learning. They're not learning. Not, you could be right. the program for five years and don't learn nothing. That's... No, nothing. We've seen that. We've seen that, dude. You're right. We've seen that too many times. <laughs> right. No, we need, you know, or oh, we need to bring a player on so that so that they could tell the truth. Because maybe coming from us, maybe of course like making up story. But we'll bring a player on, a brave player, a player who's brave enough to say, I went at this yeah. club and I didn't learn nothing. I've That's been true. there for five years. That's true. And I didn't know, I didn't even know that I could use my left foot. It, didn't, it wasn't working. For five <laughs> years, you, your left foot wasn't working. Because <laughs> nobody said nothing to you. You don't care. But you God, have a desire to be an elite athlete. Come on, Kyle. But your left foot don't work. Uh, they don't care. They don't. She she, she paid the three thousand, no, right? Or he paid the three thousand, right? Okay. He well, paid the three thousand, right? So why does it matter? You're training three days a week. You're not learning. You you not Chelsea or Manchester United. <laughs> you not Liverpool. They don't even train three days a week. I was to say, Kyle. What? <laughs> and you doing three days a week, and the coaches pulling their hair out every Sunday. Why? Because they know of all. They know that they know. And lots of them, they're genuine in terms of they want to be positive for the kid because yeah, this is sure. the culture. Yeah, like, I'm sure. in the culture. I have to do the best I can. So I'm going to support the kids. And that's fine. That's mm -hmm. commendable that you, in all the in all the madness, you find in some positiveness in it that you can help this player to see, you know, you know keep going. Don't give up on yourself yet. And that's okay. But still no learning that happening. That's sorry, true. but that's the reality. Yeah. That's the reality, guy. <laughs> not happening. It, it, it can't. Not because everybody running into each other like crash dummies that mean that's soccer. Because everybody have to do that because it's no learning. So is is who's the best gladiator? <laughs> okay. Uh, listen. 
We just here to help. We we don't want no problems. We just here to help. We just here to talk about stuff. We don't want no problems. No one laughing. Cause somebody gonna say, how you gonna say you don't want no problems? But then you tell, some parents gonna say, what you tell. I don't want no problems. It don't be problems that come to me. I just say I don't want no problems. I can say I don't want no problems, boss. You know, they don't mean it don't stop problems. You're yeah, right. It's like, You're so right. at the end of the day, we want to, you know, any anything you want to add there, let's let's close out this show. <laughs> yeah, we said a lot. Questions no, 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 no comment, no comments, no questions, yeah, no right. comments. That's, that's it. it. That's it, man. No, but right. it's 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 a, like I said, a lot of parents are gonna be very confused because in terms of like I said, just knowing a couple of parents that just want the best for their kid. They they put them into these programs and they believe that learning is happening. Uh, we've had conversations with a few and you were honest. You were honest. You told them the process. You told them how the process is going to take time and it's expensive. And then you you believe because they 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 believe this is what they want for their kid, but it's not, it's not the truth, Kyle. That's not what they want for their kid. And the most important thing you said is what is convenient for them. And we've seen that happen so many times. So many yeah. times, guys. The parents are right not to trust this process because it's not real. Oh, boy, wait. I can't. Listen, parents, I'm not mad with you. Listen, I'm not yeah. mad with you. Y'all yeah, have a right You're not right. to trust nothing because it's not real. It's not right. real. Now everybody will start teaching principles. Watch. No, if, you say like it's gonna, gonna, if you say it's going yeah, to happen, we don't think They can't wait for me to ask them what's the principle so they can they <laughs> so tell you. So they can tell But they forget they have to show it on the field. <laughs> that, is, that is true. That is they true. forget that I'm not asking you to repeat what the principles are. I'm asking you to show me an understanding. That means you have to show a behavior. So, so if you think you just if you think you're waiting for coach to ask you what the first principle is, and your coach already explained it to you, you think you could come and tell me? All right, thanks for telling me. I want to see it now. <laughs> the parents have a right. Don't trust that thing. Don't trust that thing. Or you should just create a whole big rec program and just play, have fun, because your child not learning. If your child training three days a week, they are not learning yeah. nothing about soccer. They're participating. So y'all participate, enjoy yourself, and stop talking about development and learning and improvement and who's better than this and who is this and who taking you this. They could take you to Pluto. You still can't play. You still can't play. You cannot play. You don't know the game, so you could play. You have to have knowledge to, 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 to define what playing is. You have no knowledge of the game, and you're telling me where you could play? Play what? You could go to a game and know who will win. One player could beat a whole team over. One player. One player. One player. You score three goals, he will score five. <laughs> We've seen it. Talking about you could play. Get yourself together, please. Invest the thing. You know, get the nicest chair with the backrest and thing. Go sit down, relax, watch a little game, enjoy yourself. Support your kids. Don't worry the learning thing. Don't worry that learning thing. You're not doing enough to speak about learning. You're not trained. You could be the best coach. He can try his best yes, to do yeah. what he can. At the end of the day, the performance will go up, down, go across. It can go like this all the time. It's never yeah. going to go here and do this. It's yeah, going to be like it. this. It's going to be like this. Because the kids are talented. Nothing mm -hmm. is wrong with the kids. Like, there's so much talented kids I go and see. Like, you go to games, you always see talent. Kids got real good potential. But then the system is not to, to cultivate and nourish that that talent and potential. It's not. So it's not the kids. Boy, leave the kids out of this. The kids have the talent. But the system don't want the kids to flourish. They don't want it. So they ain't learning. So we have to figure out who's the problem. 
who is the problem? I don't want no problems. <laughs> I just saying, y'all figure out who is the problem. Because no learning is happening. With that being said, thanks for all of you who have uh, of, of, would have show up for 10 seconds or 20 seconds. We still appreciate you. Of course, of course, of course. It takes 20 seconds to change your life. You know, so we thank you. Please share. Please subscribe, as I mentioned early. And you can continue to support us if it's placed on your heart to support us in what we're doing with the content that we're bringing. Uh, I'll cash up right to the side. Um, let your heart lead you. So stay blessed. Thank you for being on the show with us uh, once again. Hope to see you back here next Monday. Um, what time we start by? Eight? Eight prompt. Okay. Eight prompt. <laughs> Eight Eastern time. Time, yeah. 8 p.m. <laughs> Eastern time. Sharp. Okay. Hope to see you again. Stay blessed and have a fantastic night and the rest of the week. A wide variety of episodes are already available, chock full of incredible insight from two qualified experienced coaches. Here are some previews of eye-opening quotes. Lots of players think they need to drive an hour or two hours to get good training. Because community clubs do not feel, most of them, if not all of them, don't feel the responsibility to provide every child the best opportunity. This is for players to have fun, so why not name it Rec? An elite league shouldn't be based on teams. It should be based on the coaching. There's no integrity in the game. It's all about business. It's it, That's all it is. There's nothing about soccer first. Everything is about giving the athletes an experience. We hope you are available to tune in. New episodes every Monday night.